Here are four creative cool effects in Premiere Pro that you may not know about. So let's jump into it. First up is the VR glitch effect. To add this cool VR effect onto your videos, just search VR digital glitch in the control panel and drag and drop this onto your clip. Then go into effects controls and here you can edit the effect. To make the glitch move, just keyframe the random seed and this will animate the glitch. You can play around with the glitch distortion scale and other stuff by playing with seed options. A cool way of using this effect is using it as a transition. So make an adjustment layer and then drag it over the end and the start of the two clips just like this. Then drag the effect on this and repeat the same process uh, off adding keyframes on the random seed. And then here you have a cool glitch transition. Next up is the horizontal flip. A very quick, but a cool effect that people may not know about. So if you wanna do this, uh, you can flip your shots just so it's the other way around. Just search for the horizontal flip effect and drag this onto your clip and it's gonna flip your clip. Now, before we get into the next effect, let me quickly tell you about the brand new Editor's Keys WBL keyboard. This is a wireless backlit keyboard. So if you edit in Premiere and you wanna become more productive, or if you edit into the night and you need some backlighting, the keyboard has that. It's also wireless as well. So if you're like me and you just hate wireless being around your desk, this is the keyboard to get. So if you wanna be more productive, check out the link in the description below. Now, back to the video. Next is another one you may see all over the internet, and this is the slow shutter effect. To create this slow shutter effect, begin by searching the echo effect and drag this onto the clip. And then search for posterize time and add this only to the clip. Next, go into your effects control and change the echo time to 0.22, the number of echoes to 10, decay to 0.75, operator to composite in back, and posterize time frame rate to six. Next up, here's how you can add that popular dreamy look to your videos. And I know a lot of people are searching for this one. So copy and paste your clip but do this by holding down the option key and then just drag it above the clip. In the effects tab, find the luma key and Gaussian blur effect and drag them both onto the top clip. Now go into your effects controls and drop the luma key threshold to 20 and push the Gaussian blur to 200. Then change the blending mode of the top clip to screen. And once this is done, you can adjust the opacity to your liking and then you'll get a quick way of creating that dreamy look to all your footage. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick video and learned something new. If you have, let me know in the comment section below. Also, let us know what you're struggling with in Premiere Pro so we can make the videos for you. Thanks for watching, give us a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.